Hey, Jimmy Cactus here. Well, I've got this 1996 Wave Runner we've been working on, trying to renovate it as best we can. Uh, today we're gonna attempt to change what they call the trailer bunks. Uh, trailer bunk is uh, actually what the, it's they're connected to the trailer and it's what your boat or your jet ski rides on and off. And uh, these bunks are in pretty bad shape. A couple of tools I pulled out already is stainless steel hardware, gloves, eye protection, some wood blocks, and my saws off. I got these bunks from Amazon.com. They're two by four pressure treated wood with stainless steel staples holding the cloth. Planks from Amazon. Um, the only negative review that I read was that the staples weren't really sunk in. And that tells me that, you know, I don't believe this was done by hand. I believe that uh, this was probably just a machine pounding these things out. Done by, uh, by the feeling of kachink, kachink with the a one you squeeze. Exactly. Because if it was done by a compressor one, they'd be sunk in a lot deeper. Yeah. Absolutely be sunk in deeper. So what we're going to do is we're just going to just give them a couple of taps with a, a flat chisel, a flathead chisel, just sink them in till they're, uh, you can feel it when you hit with the chisel, you can feel it when they bottom out. It's bouncing when I hit it and then it bottoms out. You can hear the sound, listen to the pitch. When it gets solid, that means that you bottomed out. All right, let's get a couple of cranks on the scissor jack. We got the wood blocks underneath, see if we can find that sweet spot to pick up the ski right now Marco's trying to cut through that nasty old rusted bolt so we can get that bunk off is that too big uh, no this is in the way oh you need a longer one uh, no I'm just saying it, yeah I, I got a longer chisel <laughs> you son of a oh, it feels like the freaking socks on fire now <laughs> I have to grind down the other part then, like the other one. I can't get close because of this rail. All right, Marco's on the sawzall. We put the metal blade back on there, and he's just going to try to ease the top of this rusty old bolt off. We're going to just cut it as clean as we can. Look what they did. They used these bolts. They're from a fencing company. They used them to hold a hinge onto a gate or a pole. My grandfather used to tell me, there's two ways of doing things, Jimmy. The wrong way and my way. I forgot to tell you guys before that we used a uh, rust reformer after you finish cleaning everything up it'll help protect the tops of those hinges to hold the bunks in Yeah, that didn't take long. Just a few shots of paint and we're done. All right, let's get that rear bunk cleaned up so we can get some rust reformer on that too.
Still threatened. Yep. Okay, you're gonna put your wrench in there, I guess. And now Marco's gonna snug up the rear hinges. And there you have it. A perfectly repaired jet ski trailer bunk for around a hundred bucks. Well worth it. Definitely well worth it. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe.